Hi, this video is about my hair and shampoo. And probably about hairstyles that I can wear with a head covering. Um, so, I washed my hair today with Dr. Bronner's cast oil soap. This is the hemp almond flavor. And it was way better than my last hair washing experience. I was looking up all morning different shampoo videos. Um, I was, because I've heard of the no poo challenge. I've looked into it and I've had like not wanting to use con regular like shampoo and conditioner on my hair. And I have actually stopped using conditioner a while ago. Um, but I feel like I still need to wash my hair sometimes because it gets really greasy and I don't want it to get really greasy. So I started looking in no poo. Anyway, so they make a shampoo with Dr. Browner soap and um, coconut milk. But I just used this soap. And it works so much better than the last time I had a way less hair fallout. Um, and I don't, I think it's maybe because of the soap, but I mean, every time I take a shower, I brush my hair first because I usually get like huge amounts of hair fallout. This was like probably five times as less. Like it was like, a t like a few pieces of hair, maybe like seven pieces of hair came off of my head after I shampooed it with this soap, um, versus like 90 with this regular shampoo which this is what I used last time and when I did this last time I washed my hair it literally felt like poison it was like I was putting poison on my head and on my hair and just poison I can't I can't really explain it better than that um, but Praise the most high because a lot of things have been feeling like pure poison, right? Every time I smoke cigarettes, it feels like poison in my mouth, in my lungs. When I drink coffee, it makes my stomach hurt. Like, I buy coffee right before I go to work. And I'll take two sips of that coffee. And it makes my stomach hurt. I'm like, oh, I don't feel good. Oh, it's probably from drinking coffee. And um, it could be from the cream in it. It's probably not from the honey in it. Because honey, I put honey on stuff. That doesn't make me feel sick ever. Um, but, yeah. And then at the end of my coffee, after I drink it all, when I sip the bottom of it, that also, it's like tasting poison. Like, I don't know if it's from the plastic in the cup, in the straw, I or like the, I don't know. I don't know what it's from, but it's, it's literally... Every single day now, I'm just poisoning myself. <laughs> it's horrible. I don't know why I'm laughing about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely not going to probably put regular shampoo on my hair ever again um, because this was so much better. And I actually, I don't like, the smell of this smells good. Um, it smells like Jergens Lotion, like Maraschino Cherries, it's hemp almond kind. Um, but I, I don't like to use it on my skin because it has like a weird after scent and I'm really hoping that does not happen to my hair, um, cause I don't want to deal with that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep experimenting with this, but definitely I am like not using regular shampoo ever again. I was also thinking maybe I should look into Lush and see, because they have a lot of like really good shampoo bars now. And it comes in metal packaging and it like wash, it's use, good for like 80 washes I think. And I only wash my hair at the most every four days. Um, <clears throat> and I really don't like to even do that. But I had to wash my hair today because it was getting like... Actually, I didn't have to wash it. I could have been fine not doing it. And I don't know if like wearing a head covering makes my hair be less greasy than like not wearing it every day. But my hair... I feel like I've been going longer than four days between washing my hair since I've been wearing my head covering. And I don't know why that is but that's another interesting thing about it um anyway the last thing I want to talk about is 
my head covering because I have other problems with my hair getting tangled and stuff and I don't know if um if that's like because of my hat or like when I brush I don't uh, there's just so many different things about my freaking hair life first of all my hair is long enough right I can't really show you how long it is I mean it's pretty like that long like down to my waist well no past my waist um, down to the bottom of my waist <laughs> um, anyway it's too long to like do my job I work in a hospital and I clean and the ends of my hair keep just touching the sink and touching the floor if I have to bend down to pick something up and they just touch things and I hate it a lot and I've always been nervous because I braid my hair. I either do a side braid or I put two braids in. I've always been like cautious and nervous about it touching like the toilet and stuff when I'm cleaning because I don't want that and I don't want to have to feel like I need to wash my hair all the time. Clearly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. But I was thinking about getting it cut because usually I get like two to three inches cut off um, every year. Like it's a trim and my mom does it. She is the only person who will ever touch scissors to my hair. But it's been really bugging me at work and I was thinking I should just go into the office and use the scissors and cut some of it off. But this is like a lot. This is, to me, this is a lot of hair. I know it's the ends and it doesn't look like it. Look at the size of my head. It's almost the size of my head of hair that I'm losing. And Samson's hair was in his strength. Strength was in his hair. So I like, I don't want to lose my little, my hair. Just because of my stupid job. Which isn't stupid, I love my job, it's great. Um, wow, this is like hypnotic to me. There's a little bit of noise. You probably can't hear it. I'm just like doing this thinking, oh, ASMR video. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I don't, I don't know. So then I'm like thinking maybe because the last like three days I've had my hair in a side braid instead of two braids. Um, I don't know why. It might be because I've been wearing my hat for covering instead of my like blue bandana covering. But I'm wondering because my hair's uneven I have like uneven pieces it's not layers but when it's braided in a side braid I have like pieces down at the bottom like down here start like coming out um and so I have to brush it and rebraid it because I really don't like braiding it without brushing it um because then when I undo it it's gonna be a horrible tangled mess <laughs> so that's a thing and yeah I don't know um, oh yeah, so then lastly, this is the last point of this video and then it's going to be over, um, I was looking at other people's head coverings, especially the dresses, because I want to wear, um, like Mennonite style dresses, they call them cape dresses, but I want, specifically, I want a puff sleeve, <laughs> I found, I found a pattern that I like, that's like $17, I don't know if I'm going to buy that, but I, I want to start wearing the dresses so I was looking at the dresses and along with the dresses they have like head covering tutorials or videos and patterns for how to make your own head coverings right and that way you can like match it up and look all cute, matchy and cute and whatever um so oh whoa okay I'm not in the Illuminati but that's what that reminded me of so anyway what was I saying um, dresses and head coverings. Oh yeah, so because of my hair touching everything and I'm like, I don't want to cut my hair, I love my hair, I don't want to cut it. Um, I was looking at a flat bun tutorial and I can't do a flat bun <sighs> because you have to have a pin in your hair. I can't, I can't do that at my work because it's not safe. I can't have any kind of sharp metal object at all. I can't have glass. I can't have a lot of things that I can't have. So 
I don't know if I can actually do a flat bun. The other thing I was thinking is when I had a head scarf, like a real big scarf, I would put my hair up on the top of my head like this in a big top knot. And then I would just take the scarf, flip my head over, twist it, twist, twist, and then twist it around my head like a turban style. Um, but I stopped doing that because it's so hot. It's so, so, so hot. I don't know how, like, southern girls can wear their head wrap like that. Like, do you live in, like, air conditioning? Do you never go outside? Like, what are you doing? It's 100 degrees. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So that's, like, kind of a solution, but it's too hot for me to actually use that as a real solution to not cutting my hair and also not having it touch floors and sinks and counters and toilets i mean i get it doesn't really touch the toilets i'm so cautious i will like i don't know i i can't have my hair touch the toilet i i might uh i don't know i i just can't have that happen um anyway i'm actually gonna braid my hair now i have to get ready to go oh, wait, wait. oh sorry I'm bringing my sister to a job interview later, and I am, well, I'm already for work. I have to cash my bottles, and I, <clears throat> I emailed the pallet guy. I texted the pallet guy, and he never got back to me. So, I'm thinking, I don't know. I gotta, I wanna figure out something to do with the pallets. I really need to do that. And, uh, you know, it might happen tomorrow, too, which would probably be better anyway, because that's my day off. My brother could come with me and we can get a lot more work done. But I don't have to run back here to be at work at three. Okay, so that's the end of this video. And yeah, if you have any like hair solutions for long hair, um, any shampoo ideas or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. Or better yet, make a video response. And then just comment the link to the video in my comment section. That'd be great. All right, I really have to go. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to someone who's not me. Bye.